okay and just technical difficulties we move on from where we left on so um, I need to extend um, lines from 3 and of, as of course you know it is a reduction first and then the enlargement so what we do now is we draw parallel lines so we want to use this as our reference from point 3 uh, we also need this other point from point 3 I will not explain because you should um, or you know this process already but just please follow to see what is being done so whenever I extend I extend until it touches line PE and PC line PC then I need a line parallel to AD so I do that from this point to obtain here there I have that parallel line and then I need one more which would represent CD so I cop I um get that line that parallel line and of course this is a drawing so we have a smaller drawing which is the reduction for a ratio of three to five okay and we the last thing to do now is to label the points accordingly so this is point E1 B1 C1 and last but not least D1 so these are the points um, if you want to you can set the line the point to the top so the only thing is that it would be um, between some or more lines um, the reason why we set them somewhere wrong there is no um, interference with the drawings it will look neat and also be very presentable um, however if you don't want then you leave us or you follow what I have here so we have the reduction to our ratio of 3 to 5 a1 b1 c1 and d1 okay so what we do now is we follow the procedure and the procedure requires now that we draw an enlargement in order for you to get an enlargement of course you must extend the lines using your ruler um, and or your set square you need to draw a line that is with the use of the set square or ruler you just need to extend the line so here I'll use shortcut to get the lines that come directly from P okay it, it's the same line that comes directly from P I'm going to extend a little bit more and also we want to extend this line In your case, you don't need to uh, 
erase anything so this is what it should look right now the line the the original uh, quadrilateral the regular quadrilateral and also the reduction to a scale of three to five to a ratio sorry of three to five so now what follows is um using the uh, concept of dividing into eight equal parts now so we do that um, so I'll use the same dimension that I had previously you use the same um, distance for the uh, on the compass so that's six seven and eight points So here I write the points accordingly. Don't forget to use your guidelines whenever you write the the number the numerals and also the letters. These must be vertical and should not be slanted as some of your uh, drawings that you have presented. So this is what you have so far, the division. So what we do again, we go back to the concept of um, setting off parallel lines with the use of the set square and uh, the ruler. Okay, so we want to set off from... Point, we want to set up from point 8 which is the enlargement of the figure and uh, I will set off as well point C so remember this must be extended to this line and this must touch P C and this should touch P D all right uh, so then I move on to a e line a D which is the top portion and it must extend and come in contact with this line which comes directly from P then the last thing to do is to close the figure which would be obtaining the line C to D and there we close the drawing which is the enlargement or ratio of 3 uh, sorry reduction 3 to 5 but the enlargement is 8 to 5 so we take a look here that we have a bigger drawing okay and then the last thing to do now is to label the figure accordingly. So this is C. So the top is called A2. This bottom is called B2, A2, B2, and lastly, B2. So the figure looks something like this. As you can see, the drawing is to the center most part of the um, drawing area. And um, it is important that it's that way uh, because you need to show that you have the concept of drawing and that you don't just draw like um to one side and then you have ample space left over here so the last thing to do now would be to write the subtopic uh, because the topic here is reduction and enlargement so we need to write the subtopic here it must be to the center most part and also we must write that within five millimeter uh, guideline 
Okay, so it must be um, written below. Uh, we use again construction lines and we need to ensure that it is five millimeter. And the subtopic for this drawing is radial lines method. Okay, there we go. So we take a look at the drawing. And we want to ensure that it is to the center most part. the figure and of course of the drawing paper so this is what we have the enlargement and reduction by radial lines method so your assignment is to redraw this figure using the given instructions in this video ensure that you apply all the drawing conventions and that you also produce quantity of drawings um, in addition um, do not send the f uh, picture of this um, drawing in email form I need you to submit directly onto the um, section provided to you in, uh, on the Moodle platform directly there do not email me this uh, picture so once again this is a figure um, all the dimensions are given please follow the procedures um, that are accompanied the video which uh, have been uploaded uh, in the form of a PDF or a PowerPoint presentation as well so take a look at that if you have any question then tomorrow or today sorry during um, the other 30 minutes you can ask any given question in regards to the construction process okay